Hello, welcome to part nine of uh, Gunslinger. I dodged death many a time, and that night in Abilene was no different. Oh, this is a new revolver. I was with the intention of finding that bastard Bob and collecting the bounty on John Whist. Uh, I thought the Texas Rangers got heart. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. Oh, you think I'm yellow? Come here. It was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. I'm 
jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this son of a bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Harden was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. He was a bona fide folk hero by then and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted So, uh, basically, me on a slow day. He set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit! Oh, damn it! Shoot that son of a bitch! They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. What as most you? of them were wanted to do it. Harden was here somewhere, but to get to him, I'd have to get past his gun. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Harden wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Harden's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcome presence. Who says? Well, now I am. Okay then. for the fight ahead for as good as I was deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better before I could test my mettle against Harden however I would first need to dispatch his concrete iron killers most of these degenerates were beyond redemption but John Wesley might have been a different story Dynamite. 